Uh, I'm really, really surprised that they reinstated my last video. It was originally removed by YouTube because, uh, according to them, it violated their, their code of conduct because it contained a clip of someone stating things that go against CDC guidelines. And it, it didn't matter initially whether or not I'm speaking against what the things this lady is saying, but that's the way their system is, just like how what happens with Twitter, you know, people, someone can say something awful, and then if someone argues against it, uh, sometimes they'll get flagged and their posts will get deleted because, well, the system sees it that way, so I had appealed their decision and uh, and it failed that appeal. Then I talked with customer service. They said they'll check it again, and they did, and then it failed. And then, you know, about half hour or so ago, um, I refreshed the my content page, and bam, it, it's the video's reinstated, and the the strike against my channel is lifted, and I can post videos again. Because they, you know, once if you get a strike like that, it's you can't post anything for a week, so... So I'm pretty happy about that. But it does make me think a lot about how there are so many things that we can't talk about on this platform anymore. Just so many things. Um, if, even if you suggest some things, you, you, you just, it's, it's done. It gets flagged. It's, it's, you know, I've talked before about how, well, yeah, there are these blatant things that you can't say. But... I mean, it's to the point on, on, on YouTube where you can't even descri fully describe the position of the other side without potentially getting flagged. So I understand why people on the right say, hey, they're, they're being flagged for just stating their views. And, and they are, even though, I mean, yeah, some of their views are kind of hateful, but... How are we going to get to the bottom of those views? How are we going to address that those views are hateful if we can't even discuss them? You know, let's just shove everyone onto these these alternate platforms where they'll, you know, continue to stand together, the right stands together, and they'll go on these platforms where there's these extremists, all these uh, conspiracy theorists and far-rightists and alt-rightists, Christian supremacists, and uh, white nationalists, they'll go to these platforms where, that are filled with those people and they'll become more radicalized. And they won't have anyone saying anything against them because, well, I mean, the platforms are, are kind of an echo chamber. So YouTube becomes an echo chamber, their competitors become an echo chamber, Facebook is an echo chamber, Twitter is an echo chamber. All these echo chambers all over the place and nobody really communicating very well with the other side. Now, I understand that there are certain things, there are certain values that people aren't going to compromise on, you know, certain certain things that I, I believe that I'm not willing to compromise on. So, I mean, obviously, you know, people have those those things they're not going to compromise on. And I don't really know what can be done about that, but there are things that we can compromise and come together on, and but we're not going to really do it if, if we're all in these echo chambers. So, I don't know. I know that YouTube has become very boring. I can try to look for the things that are, that are interesting to me, and, and all I get are, uh, you know, when I search for them, if... They've been covered by mainstream media. Well, then that's all you get is the results. I can't find barely any subject. Find just individuals talking about them. Unless they haven't been covered very much by mainstream media. So they've even come out with, with uh, extensions. And I use it once in a while. That What is it? D mainstream fi YouTube. I can't remember the exact name of it. But uh, it tries to remove... A whole bunch of, you know, typical mainstream sources. But it's not enough when you're trying to search for this stuff. So, And so many of the YouTubers that used to be interesting aren't as interesting anymore because they don't have as many interesting things to bounce off of. So YouTube has become boring. 
you know, especially because we can't talk about so many things. Um, the competitors are boring because they're just saying the same, the same conspiracy theories and the same, the same bullshit. You know, it's all become boring. Uh, it's all become a bunch of echo chambers, and I don't see how this is going to end well. You know, but uh, we'll have to see, right? I'm just glad that that the strike has been lifted from my channel and I can post videos again. So, thankful for that. Thanks for watching.